रानी मंगमा रानी मंगमा रानी मंगमा रानी मंगमा वन से दुपट्टा गो तो गो से नॉट दुपट्टा गो बैक वी आर ऑन द मूव अगेन एंड दिस टाइम टू ट्रिची और तिरचिरापल्ली The volunteers very cleverly engaged us in games and music that most of us didn't realize the four hours go by. For those who missed the last episode, I'm on a six-day tour organized by the Isha Sacred Walks. Do check out the first part for more details. So today we are going to Jammu Kashmir. Jammu Kashmir. Our present is Surat. Trichy is located along the Kaveri River and is one among the 38 districts in Tamil Nadu. It has several temples dating back to the 1700s. Our plan stops in Trichy at the very powerful Jambukeshwar Temple and the Sadguru Sri Brahma Ashram. Back in the bus after a 15 minute break, I think we are reaching the hotel in around an hour. Very delicious. Very nice. I recommend it to some walking in this room. Very good. Good. Very tasty. Good. After some choose breakfast, we set off to Sadguru Sri Brahma Ashram. Oh, are you okay? Some crack open, you know. Oh, okay. Born as Kaliyappan to a poor agricultural family, Sri Brahma undertook sannyas at a very early age. He was known for his bold steps against social and gender biases which existed in the society during the 19th century. Sri Brahma left his body through all the seven chakras which is a very rare phenomenon and is achieved only by the enlightened beings with high intensity. If one is receptive they can feel his energy and reverberation at this ashram where he is said to have spent a long time. So this was the Sadguru Sri Brahma Ashram. Extremely powerful space. We spend a while chanting and just absorbing the energy of the space. Now it's off to the temple. By now, I've started enjoying these short walks through the group, fully taking in the sights, smell, and the sounds of the place. Jambu Keshwara, right? So this is Jambu Keshwara, and the name is uh, Tiruvannai Kappu. Built by the Cholas and widely expanded by the Hoysala kings, Jambu Keshwara, Gnana Kshetram, or the Tiruvannai Kappu Temple is one of the five Panchabhuta Stalam or the five elements places of Lord Shiva. This temple represents the water element, and the sanctum sanctorum is said to have an underground stream. The legend goes that Devi Parvati, in her incarnation as Atlanteshwari, Did penance in this Jambu forest. She made a lingam out of water from the river Kaveri and installed it under the Jambu or the Indian blackberry tree and performed cleansing rituals with the water of the holy river. The Lord was pleased with her devotion and appeared before her and taught us Shiva Gnana. Lord Shiva and Parvati in the form of Akhilanteshwari is presented as Guru Shikshya, that is teacher student in this temple, and hence their deities are established opposite each other here. As with the legend later on a couple of shivaganas in the form of elephant and spider continued worship of the apulingam they competed with each other regularly and in the process they ended up killing themselves as an elephant worship shiva here the name tiruvannai kavu where anai means elephant and kavu forest the spider was born in his next birth as a chola king who built this temple and because of his competition with the elephant in the previous birth the entrance to the sanctuary is built such by the king that even a baby elephant would not be able to get in people have to squeeze in one at a time to go inside the tirukovil or the sanctum sanctorium having had the fortune to go in i still have goosebumps when i think of the high intensity of energy i experienced there How was darshan for you? Beautiful. For many more of us, the visit to Jambu Keshwar stood out in the six-day trip. My most favorite was the Jambu Keshwar temple. 
the magnificent architecture, the experience, and just the time of the day we visited the temple. It was like highlight, like just when the moon was coming out and. Yeah, Jambu Keshwar hit me the most. Architecture, connecting dots. What's, what's the connecting dots for you? In terms of architecture, civil engineering, the kind of person, the emotional health of those people, the emotional quotient of those people. Right. How are you? I mean, we can't do it in these days. You know, care and love just stuffed into me when I visited those temples, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, water temple, that Shiva. I think the Princi temple stood out because uh, I've been to even the town of me. Everything was new. Mm -hmm. Very, very curious to absorb the whole thing right from entering the temple. So, so that's the Jambukeshwar. The Jambukeshwar. Okay. okay. Number three, Jambukeshwar temple. What the temple? Jambukeshwar. Jambukeshwar. Now I didn't The Jambukeshwar. All the temples were Jambukeshwar. Jambukeshwar was very powerful. So. So after a wonderful, wonderful darshan, we are walking back. Uh, you can see the team over there and in the front as well. We are heading for dinner, right? Yeah. We just had a extremely beautiful darshan. Absolutely. Along with Kashi and Bhima Shankar, the visit to Jambukeshwar is going to stay with me for a very long time. Do subscribe and like this video if you do like it. Hope you'll join me in this quest to discover more of the spiritual gems India has to offer through the future episodes. We're back at a hotel for dinner. The next in this series will feature the spectacular Brihadeshwara Temple. So do stay tuned.